What's up guys? Just got back from the ocean here in Santa Cruz. Did my cold water therapy. I'm starting to get real jacked. Check it out. I know I joke about it, but I, I, my body is really changing from foundation training. I'm starting to get like six pack almost. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Cold water therapy, detoxification, regeneration, rejuvenation, ah, sexual healing. Okay, I only got five minutes or so to talk because it's I'm, I, I'm cold to the bone right now. But uh, <clears throat> what did I want to talk about? Um, how to kick food cravings once and for all. Okay, how to kick food cravings once and for all. The way to kick food cravings once and for all. First, let me tell you a little story. I used to have awful food cravings. Chocolate, sugar, pastries, knishes. I told this story at the end of one of my last videos, but I just want this video to be specifically this subject. But I used to live in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. All of my friends who, who knew me, all my jujitsu friends, all my friends at Microsoft, they all knew how much, uh, actually by the time I was at Microsoft, I started eating healthier, but they all knew how much shit I ate. I would, I lived in Houston and Norfolk and I would walk and I would stop at Tim Hortons and get donuts and a coffee. Then I would go to, and get like a salmon sa sandwich at the next place. I forget the, uh, the place that, then I would go to Katz's Deli and get hot dogs. And then I would get a knish. I mean, I would do this on a regular basis and I could do this all in one walk. I could eat all of that amount of food in a, in a couple hour period of time. And uh, I was fit because I was training so hard in jujitsu, but um, I, I couldn't help it. And then I would also get these peanut butter pastries and beer and I would love that almost every night if I could. And the way I finally was able, it took me a long time to like figure out the magic in terms of food cravings. Long, years, years. I believe the roots of food cravings are emotional instability, emotional repression, trauma, and then of course parasites, candida, fungus, yeasts, bacterial infections, viral infections, these things that alter our neurochemistry in order to alter our cravings and alter our diet in order to continue living and thriving, right? There are intelligent organisms inside of us that have been around for thousands and thousands of years and who basically have biohacked us. They've biohacked us to figure out our weaknesses and, and then they're getting in there and altering us just in the particular way so that they keep, keep them alive. Everything just wants to live and thrive. That's what a parasite wants to do. So the way to combat food cravings once and for all, and uh, the way to uh, you know start eating clean is to of course, heavy metal detox, parasite detox, that stuff is all a given. Okay, putting in high vibrational life force in your body. Bitters, digestive bitters, I'll post a link in the description below. Zoibin and Herb Farm Better Bitters are the best bitters I've ever found. They will eviscerate sugar cravings. But the one thing, the one magical tip I have, it's the reason I wanted to make this video, is what I used to do that was the single most effective way for me to combat food cravings is I would I would envision myself eating whatever it is that I was craving. So let's say I was craving this peanut butter bar or this blueberry knish from Yona Schimmel's or um, a beer and a peanut butter bar together. What I would do or a brownie. What I would do is I would actually envision myself eating it. I would walk, so I would shut my eyes, I would walk to the store, I would pay for it, I would envision that high that comes, right? Because we get this high when we're about to go buy it or we're about to eat it. While we're eating it, we're probably high. The second, as we're getting done with that last bite, the guilt already kicks in. And that guilt is the full 
loop is the, the guilt allows that full loop to happen where you then want to do it again. Just like how I used to do with gambling. I used to have a problem with gambling actually. So, so what I did is I would go through the whole cycle. I would just imagine the, I knew the cycle so well. So I would shut my eyes and I would go to walk to the store. I would get that high. I would buy that beer, that blue moon. Oh, I love blue moon or yingling in a glass bottle. And then I would get the, the, the peanut butter bar and vision talking to the guy, ordering it, having it in that beautiful, beautiful, clear plastic bag, walking back to my apartment with excitement. Sometimes I would buy two and then I would eat them. I would sit there in that chair and I would eat them and I would finish eating them and I would remember that feeling that I get when I was done eating them. Like, why did I just do that? Like what? It's almost like you're having sex and you, you're having sex with someone, you know, you're drunk and you, you take home someone and you finish having sex with them. You lose your seed and you're like, why the fuck did I just do that? And what I did is I would let the detriment run the day. The detriment that I would feel after that, that feeling inside, that void, that pit, that guilt, I would let that run the show and I would let that dictate my decision. There was no peanut butter in the bar in the world that was going to be worth feeling that feeling anymore. I didn't want to feel that feeling. I didn't want to take away from my journey. It's like all of these things that we do that take away from our direct journey and our direct mission, right? Anything that doesn't really add to our health, unless it's done with total, total joy and consciousness, you know, like conscious junk food eating, then it's just taking away from our mission. So, so yeah, um, I would just, I would let the detriment run the decision and, 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 and the, the, the craving gone, completely gone after going through that process. So also remineralization, a lot of people are craving minerals because the nutrients, because we are completely devoid in this culture of, of nutrients. The soils are depleted. Our vegetables contain like one eighth, maybe one tenth of the amount of nutrients and vitamins and minerals that they did and life force that they did 30 years ago. And of course, if vegetables don't have a lot of nutrients, then everything is going to have less nutrients. The animals that we eat, every herb, every spice, every plant is going to have be less in, devoid of nutrients unless they're from specific farms, you know, farms that practice that use volcanic rich soil or that practice um, permaculture in term in permaculture, AKA having an ecosystem in place, not this monocropped farms where they strip the land of every single nutrient that, that, you know, a carrot can only suck up a carrot sucking up the same nutrients. Every time that soil has no chance. Every single carrot on that land is sucking up the same nutrient, sucking up the same nutrient. And then they don't let the land draw uh, rest. It's earthly law to, that we have to let land rest in order to recover, just like humans need to rest. So anyway, whew, I'm getting cold. Um, so yeah, practice those techniques. You can learn remineralization, detoxification, heavy metal, parasite detox from my website, thedetoxdudes.com. You can check out my courses. I have a free course and a paid course in the info description. But the real point of the video was to pass along that message of envisioning the end of the road, envision you eating your eating that thing. And I think this can be true for drugs. I remember I used to do uh, painkillers back in the day, many, many years ago. And I used to do that same, have that same uh, process with it. Like, what's the point, the constipation that comes from it. Anyway, hope that helps. I'm going to take a hot shower, baby. Send in peace and love and healthy vibes from Santa Cruz, California. Wishing you a beautiful evening. Peace. Summer in the hills. Those hazy days I do remember. We were running still. Had the whole